This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Whoa, you really can see the whole studio. Oh, I love this attachment. I feel like there's like a Sailor Mercury thing going on. Hello, welcome to the new studio. I've been putting in the work as best I can to get this place set up for sewing, and fun, and creativity. Things are getting kicked up to a whole nother level because Marla has started daycare. I'll be honest, I am a bit sad when I drop her off and I think a big part of it is the fact that we spent a whole year constantly together. Her absence, it does feel like a little something is missing. But the trade-off is I can catch you up on what the heck's been going on. If you've been watching this home series, you know what this room used to look like. The previous owner used it as her kitchen. It had a whole cabinet fridge, stove set, washer and dryer off to the side. We didn't need two kitchens, but we did need a place for me to work. So we demoed the entire room and that left us with a few conundrums. Sticking out of the wall was this exhaust vent for the washer dryer, an electrical box, as well as all this plumbing piping that would cost a lot to move. Our quick and most affordable solution, an Ikea cabinet system that once the doors were closed would basically hide all of these doodads out of sight and make you completely forget that these things were protruding out of the wall in the first place. Yes. Check it out. I've made this area to be for tool storage. This tour is gonna end up feeling a little bit like a walk down memory lane, but you're gonna see how so many of the things that are in my studio reflect parts of the With Wendy history, all of which has at some point been seen on my Squarespace website as well. If you've ever opened the description in my videos and shop my favorite tools, you know that I always put all of the details for these on my Squarespace website. Up here, my big roll of craft paper that you guys see me use to draft patterns. We've got scissors, notebooks. If you guys wanna check out my website or you want to build your own, I highly recommend Squarespace, can't recommend it enough. If you go to squarespace.com slash withwendy, you'll get a 10% discount off of your first go at Squarespace. As always, I'll put a link in the description. Don't forget to check it out. It is certainly still a work in progress. As you can see, I don't really know what's going on here. Oh, this is something else that has been on my website. I'll put you down here. Our next stop is the laundry corner. This is a very rare sighting that this countertop has no clothing at the moment because this is where I fold and stash all our laundry and with the baby there's been a lot of laundry. Now I will show you how everything went with hiding things behind these cabinets. Ta -da! So many holes have been cut into this IKEA unit in order to accommodate the things coming in and out of the wall. Because of this electrical panel, I really can't use this extensively as storage. I just have a pull-out bin with all of our laundry supplies. And then over here, this is some real throwback with Wendy stuff. Over the years, you guys have seen me sell a variety of things on my online shop, also on my Squarespace website. These, I think, are different fabrics that are all packaged and ready to ship. They're still available to shop. I am going to retire it soon, along with some with Wendy merch that I made years ago in collaboration with a bunch of Etsy sellers. The whole experience of running an online shop, including product development, merchandising, fulfillment, all that jazz. It was a great learning experience. I'm so thankful to everyone who shopped over the years. E-commerce has always felt a little bit intimidating but I do have plans to get back into it. I have some new things in the works. And Squarespace has always made it so easy to sell products, services, memberships. Out of everything I've sold, I think my favorite was the vintage purses. That was the most fun. Our next stop in our little progress update, the desk. Look what I got. Ooh, it feels so nice. <laughs>
definitely <laughs> the biggest desk that I've ever gotten to work with. She can fit two machines, even three. Oh, between this table and this table, I think I'm gonna be able to capture the process so much more clear. I can put more blog updates on my Squarespace website, something I've neglected since having a baby. I feel like things are just gonna get so much more educational and community around here. There's still a ton of updates I wanted to hear. Like for example, our lovely pegboard still has not even been hung, but that's because I've been trying to make some decisions on paint colors. I got my sample pack from Pure and Original. <laughs> How is one supposed to make decisions? It shows the finishes for the different types of paint they have. I'm trying to decide between Fresco and Marrakesh. And then it also shows, as you can see, colors. I had made some tentative guesses on what color I might be interested in, but now, that it's all here, it's quite intimidating. Hmm. I gotta measure the entire space I'm trying to cover to see how much paint they recommend. Okay, I'm back the next day. Yesterday I had to stop and go pick up Marla from daycare. Yesterday filming me trying to look at these colors and assess what I wanted to do, I realized how uncomfortable I am with sharing with you guys just my total lack of self-confidence and direction on what is happening here. Ooh, I just put in my order. I'm scared. Ordered the paint. Shapes. All done. All done. Thank you. Button, belly button. Laundry. Where's your toes? <gasps> there they are. Outside. Outside. We're gonna go outside. Ready, ready for daycare. Daycare. Down, down. Down, down. Ooh. Is it already Monday? Cause I'm tired of the mundane Could you just come and take my hand Take me to a foreign land I think we're on the same page And I hear what you're trying to say What if we change the polar plans Don't know where to go But we'll just pack a bag I'm so tired It's always around 4pm We get a little bit of an afternoon slump Got invited to the opening of a brand new value village store currently trying to work out with dan whether he can pick marla up from daycare or if marla's coming with me anywhere as long as i'm with you let's run away book a ticket one way let me imagine it just for a fun thrift shopping I've had in a while. The pastel plaid is so cute. 18 bucks. Oh my goodness. The softness, the watercolor texture. $12.99. This little vest. $6.99. I love the tweed design. $7.99. It's giving Animal Crossing NPC. A good old $12.99. A little mandarin collar. Little button and loop closures 78 percent silk 8.99 okay last piece of clothing it's turtleneck season again 8.99 yesterday this came in the mail what is it you ask contact paper i have an ikea table in this room that i think is the best thing ikea sells for what i need it's basically a table already equipped with all the mounting hardware for me to film live streams diys hang clothes to dry for laundry but my one complaint 
is the tone of wood they chose for the tabletop is just really not my style and doesn't fit anything else in the studio. Right now we have this muted medium brown. We've got this more orangey original hardwood floor. I've got these more birch-like legs, this bamboo wall organizer, and this light ash countertop, so. I also got this in the mail recently. Marla's Daker requested that we label her clothes, so I was like, eh, label maker for me. That I haven't yet opened. We're gonna open it together. with it. She feels good. Ow. I can't wait to do some shots with this. This is totally the tone of wood that I was looking for. Feels like a classic with Wendy shot that we haven't seen in a long time. <clears throat> Really happy with how that color change turned out. Last stop on the studio update. The beloved Ikea lockers. The fabric is still stored away in this lovely roll system so I can see everything. I still have a lot of organizing to do in here, but there's so much equipment too, which reminded me of things we've done together in the past. Ooh the podcast, the different membership spaces, which recently is a feature that became fully integrated with Squarespace. So I'm going to investigate and see if we want to bring it back. Email newsletters, another thing we did through the Squarespace website. It's been a lot of experimentation and for everyone who has ever subscribed to the newsletter, listened to the podcast, been part of Patreon, Darlings, or Squarespace membership in the future, you guys are so, so sweet for supporting me. I thank you so much. arrived. I've got these beautiful stir sticks. Oh good, some instructions. <laughs> really makes you want to paint every single room in your home <laughs> when you see all the vibrant possibilities. So tempting. It's a box in a box. I promised we would open this together. I love organization. Ooh! Enter text to create a simple label. And then press print. Where? Where? Oh. I actually bought the iron-on type, which can go on clothing. Marla! Cute! I need to get faster at this though. <laughs> we don't have any handles on our wardrobe doors because I haven't committed to drilling any holes, so we just always open them from below. I've been working on putting together a new bag drop for you guys. Been hunting for these goodies and stashing them for a while now. So let's take some pictures. I'm gonna give you a little behind the scenes on how this has all been done in the past. So this is my products page in my Squarespace website where I upload everything that is currently available. We name them, we set their price tags. As you can see, some of my Older merch is all discounted. This is your last chance if you want to grab any of it. Some of these bags I really loved. I feel like I was a little too quick to part with them. For example, this one, Amelia. After all the photos are taken, we just add a new product. We give it a name, a description, light pistachio satin with an embossed quilted pattern and soft sparkle. All true brings me back. I miss this bag. If you're the one who bought it, I hope you're enjoying it. The images get uploaded. Oh, look at this little wonder. The size of it, so playful. We set the price, we set the quantity. In this case, all the bags had a quantity of one and now zero once sold. That's just the basics. And after that, if you want to get really fancy with customizing things, you know, run a whole enterprise, they have plenty of options to expand the ways that you manage this product. All the time, I see you guys downloading the face mask pattern that I made. I've got this mini backpack pattern, the waist belt. If you guys want more patterns, let me know. This was a bit of an experiment. I wasn't quite sure 
what people were thinking. I'm gonna shoot these bags, upload the photos. Don't forget to check the link in the description, squarespace.com slash with Wendy to get 10% off your first website. See you next time.